Hey there everyone, this is Kelly and I'd like to welcome you back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel and our Adventure Awaits release. This release will be available on the evening of May the 19th after our release party. First, I'd like to share the freebie for this release. Now, these are free while supplies last with purchases of $100 or more. There is the Adventure Stamp and the coordinating die. You can see the large scripty word there and then the coordinating die that's going to cut that out and then lots of sub sentiments to go along with it. I'm excited to share with you our new organizing envelopes for your stamps, dies, stencils. There is a set in each size that has a magnet inside. This is the smallest storage envelope set. So this is four inches by five and a half inches. I'm gonna pull one of these out so we can get a look at this heavy duty envelope. It has a tab in the front that you can enclose your stamps and dies in. Now this is a look at that magnetic sheet that's gonna hold down all of your dies. And then we also have packages that don't have the magnetic sheets. If those are useful to you, if you have stamps without the dies or you wanna store your stencils or something like that. Now this is a square medium size. It's six and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. Again, there's the magnet set and then ones without. Next is a medium size that is rectangle. So this is five by eight, so perfect for your uh, four by six inch stamp sets. Again, one package has the magnets and then one without. This is for a slimline, which is four and a half by 10. Again, one has the magnet and one without. And there are 10 envelopes in each of these boxes. Now this is our largest size. It's six and three quarters by nine and a half. And again, there is a set that have the magnets and then one without. Now let me show you how I have stored my stamps and coordinating dies. This just happens to be that square size, the six and three quarters by six and three quarters. If I pull the tab open in here and you can see the cute little Be Creative logo, I can store my stamps, even the little backer there, and then all those coordinating dies are going to fit nicely in there. Now let's take a look at our brand new paper pads. First, we have the Adventure Awaits paper pad. This has been long awaited and much requested. And then also we have a brand new Pinstripes and Polka Dots, the Outdoors Edition. So I'm going to open up the uh, Adventure Awaits paper pad. And some of these patterns are multiple because we have lots of requests. And I love that some of these include uh, sizes for larger card sizes. So five by seven. Some of these that you can split down the center like this one and get two A2 size cards. There's lots of outdoor scenes and wood grains in these. Now here is a beautiful large like watercolor design that's going to be great for those large 5x7 cards. It's going to be great with some of our outdoor things that we have coming up. We have lots of great textures that's going to be great for a lot of our new die sets. Here's another one of those beautiful patterns where you're going to get two cards, uh, two A2 size cards out of that. Again, some wonderful texture for your die cuts. Here is a great background that you can cut into and get two cards out of that one. Another of that with great little stems and feathers and florals on the back. A great large wood grain that you can trim into or make one five by seven card. We've got some beautiful greenery and then on the back side is a greenery oval you can use as a frame or a wreath. There's even some more holiday or winter looking designs. Now this one here, you can slice down the center and again, get two A2 size cards. I'm gonna keep moving right along here. We have one large, beautiful piece towards the bottom. Again, it's a beautiful kind of watercolor look. You're gonna get one huge card out of that. Nice for five by seven. A beautiful green texture on the back side. And then we have a pretty moody scene that's going to be great for outdoors. Again, one that you can uh, get one big card out of or slice it in half for five by seven or A2. 
There is some watercolory looking backgrounds. It looks like a cloudy, moody sky, starry nights, some great wood grains. If I keep flipping around here, we're going to get to the very last wood grain, and that is our Adventure Awaits paper pad. Now let's take a close-up look at our Pinstripes and Polka Dots Outdoors Edition. We have a really pretty creamy color, almost like an off-white. One side has the pinstripes and the other has the polka dots. Next we go into oranges and a darker burnt orange. The next color is a brown and so we have the brown pinstripes and then on the back side we have polka dots. And then we go into a very light green with stripes and then polka dots on the back side. And then we have a darker, very moody green, almost like a sagey color green, moving into an even darker shade of green, into a blue. And then we have a lighter blue that will be great for skies or clouds. Next is a really pretty gray-blue color, almost the color of denim. Next is a navy. We have the pinstripes and then again the polka dots on the back side. And then we're going to go into a really dark charcoal with almost a black pinstripe and then black polka dots on the back side. And that is it for our pinstripes and polka dots paper pad, the outdoor edition. Now let's pull up both of those paper pads and get a look at those and then all of the coordinating products to go along with it. So first off, we have a set of ombre pearls. So if I can hold these up and tilt them in the light, you can see that these are two toned in color. They're going to go with those paper pads. Next is our Pacific Northwest pearl stickers. And these again are going to match perfectly with both of those new paper pads. And then of course we have the Adventure Awaits Gem Stickers. These are really pretty and sparkly. All three of these sets have three sizes in each little pearl or gem sticker. Next, let's take a look at our new wax melts. We have three different new little containers. First, we have Frosted. Now, this is going to be the closest wax that you're going to get to melt clear. It will, it will dry and melt almost clear on your project. So if you wanted to mix in um, some dried flowers or some gold flakes or something like that. Next is Precious Pearls. There are three different colors of pearlescence in these little wax melts. There's a yellow, a green, and a pink. Next is the Adventure Awaits color mix, and these are gorgeous. They're going to go with all those beautiful papers and the paper pads. There's brown and green and blue, and then even a darker green and a really deep navy. You can see the pearlescence in some of these as I move them around in my hands. I'll get these put back in there and the lid put on tight so I don't lose any of those. And this is all of our beautiful paper and our wax melts. Our newest wax stamper is a water lily. It's really pretty and it's going to go beautiful with our new lovely layers. Next, I have the Take a Ride stamp and coordinating die set. Now, the stamp set has a vintage motorcycle and then all types of things to go in a vintage style garage. So we have the motorcycle down below, an old gas pump, an old oil can, a gas container, and then lots of old kind of signs to go on the wall, and then also a sentiment that says King of the Road with a really cool vintage looking font. Now here's a look at the coordinating die set. It's gonna cut out everything in that stamp set. I'm gonna create a card with this at the end of the video, so I hope you'll stick around for that. But I just love all of these vintage touches in this really cool vintage motorcycle set. Next, I have the Take a Ride sentiment set with the coordinating dies. We have some really great sentiments in here and really fun kind of vintage looking fonts. Life's a journey. Enjoy the ride. You are legendary. Lucky for you, vintage is in. 
May your life be a collection of many happy moments. No road is too long when you have good company. We only regret the rides we don't take. It's your birthday. Go wild. Ride on. When life gets complicated, take a ride. Happy retirement. You're in mint condition for a vintage model. Retirement is best viewed behind handlebars. Happy birthday and more. There's also the coordinating die set that's going to cut out every one of those really fun masculine sentiments. Now I have one of the guys. This is the dude version of the set that we had in our spring release that ha was all about moms and ladies. We have with love on Father's Day, happy Father's Day, and then lots of those manly names like padre, dad, daddy, son, uncle, godfather, bonus dad, stepdad, hubby, pops, papa, grandpa, gramps, abuelo, great, Pethe, Poppy, Tio, and more. There's also some other little sub-sentiments that are going to mix and match there, like you mean so much to me, thank you for everything, and more. There's also the coordinating die sets gonna, that's going to cut out both of those large scripty sentiments. Next we have our lovely Layers Owl. So this little guy is so detailed and so fun to put together. There's lots of layers and there's so many beautiful little pieces that come together to create a really beautiful owl. Now here is an owl created out of solid colored cardstock. You can see all the layers there, all the embossed areas for his feathers and his little face. Now this paper is pattern paper. Next, I have white paper that has been ink blended, so you could make your owl any color that you want to. You can see, still see all those beautiful details. Next, I have a more feminine version in grays and pinks and a little bit more feminine paper. And then next, I had to do like a little Hedwig or a snowy owl and just cut off or trimmed off the little horns at the top of the owl's head. But this is our lovely Layers Owl, and you can see I have lots of samples to show you. And of course, our owl had to have a little stamp set or a greeting set that goes along with it. So this is to the wise one, and we have happy birthday, another year wiser, Happy Father's Day to the wise one, and thank you for all you do. Now there's also a coordinating die set that's going to cut out all those sentiments so you can stamp, cut those out, and add those anywhere on your lovely Layers Owl cards. You're also getting a look at some of that beautiful Adventure Awaits paper from our pattern paper pad. Next is our lovely Layers Wood Slice and Stump die set. Now this stump goes perfectly and coordinates perfectly with our lovely layered birds along with the owl. You can see the stump there in the center. And then there's three different sizes of wood slices. These all layer together to create a really fun dimensional piece. It has all those little embossing details that will press into your paper. You can see here if I hold this up how that owl is just going to have the perfect little place to perch. And so it just adds another option for all of our little birds and our owl to have a place to rest. Plus, all the wood slices go so well with a lot of our Adventure Awaits products that you're going to see both today and in tomorrow's sneak peek. Now here's a look at that stump. You can see I have ink blended that and done all the layers, but you can see all the beautiful details in that little wood stump. And it's the perfect place for our lovely Layers Owl to perch. Now this is the new mini messages stamp set. I love all of these little mini messages and it's perfect when you just need a little sentiment to add onto your scene cards. We have thank you, thinking of you, see you soon, oh happy day, happy anniversary, hello sunshine, here's to many years, on your graduation, and so many, many more. There's also a really cool die set. Now the die set has three different types of dies that are going to cut out all of those little mini messages. There at the top, 
there are the rounded corners. So they almost make little ovals for your little mini messages to sit into. Then there are a true rectangles that have sharp corners. And then there are the dies that are going to have the fishtail edge on one end. So you have three different options in these dies when you're cutting out all of your little mini messages. I'm always looking for a stamp and die set that are going to be small enough to fit on all of those big beautiful scenes, whether you're using your lovely layers flowers or you're doing an outdoorsy scene. And I just love these mini messages and this is the everyday version. Our newest addition to our layering frames collection is the shield layering frames. You can see here how beautiful this is. It's going to cut out that shape around the edges and then press in the embossed details. So this one you can see has almost little stitching lines, has some lines and some areas that almost look like letterpress. And so these are all going to either be used beautifully just on their own or you can stack these up to create a beautiful layered design. I'll be using this set at the end of the video, but here is what they look like when they're all stacked up. So perfect for your outdoorsy and masculine cards. We also have the new Sweet Stacks Oval Dies. Now this is a great layering set. We're just adding the pretty ovals into our collection. We already have the rectangles and circles, and I'm so glad to get these ovals into my craft room. I think they're just really cool and so easy to use. Next is our diamond plate stencil. You can see here I've done a background and used some glimmer paste to add that onto some blue cardstock, but really fun for masculine cards. And then we also have the patina stencil. I think this would be really cool for water as well, or to make a background kind of look old, but this is it brushed onto some craft cardstock. Okay, it's time to make a card with that really cool vintage take a ride motorcycle set, that layering uh, shield background layering frame set, and then some of our new sentiments as well. So I'm going to start out and I'm going to stamp the vintage motorcycle, the old gas pump, the gas tank container and the oil can onto some cream colored cardstock and I am going to stamp this in our Be Creative Copic Friendly or Alcohol Marker Friendly ink. I've got everything set down in my Misty and I'm inking up those stamps really well and because these have so much detail and I've got several stamps in there I can use my pressure tool to press down into that paper and I do one more coat over these brand new stamps. I'm going to get everything tucked back in there and really rub that down well. And then I'm going to heat set this ink with my air tool or my uh, heat tool. I always heat set any kind of Copic friendly ink. That way I don't run the risk of it bleeding when I start to color in all my little images with my Copic markers. I'm first going to start with a really bright, fun red. This is R27. As you can see, I'm starting on both ends of the gas tank on the vintage motorcycle. And I'm really deepening up the edges there and then pulling it out to almost no ink right there in the center. And you can do the same thing with um, the fenders and places like that, anywhere you want to add color. I really like to do this because I don't have uh, every color of Copic marker. And so it's a way for me to get darker colors there by building up the pigment on the ends and then pulling it out into a lighter color in the center. Now for all of the grays, I'm using lots of cool grays and that is going to mimic the look of the metal and even um, the black seat and the grips on the handlebars and even into the tires. So the darkest color is a C7 and I'm just coloring dark areas here and there and then I'll fill in with lighter cool grays as we go along. But again, I'm just trying to get that look of a metal and then the black in the tires and in the leather seat and the grips. 
So I just take my time as I go around all these little parts, especially down into like the engine pieces and the exhaust and things here on the motorcycle. And I am going to use the same colors, so the same reds and the same cool grays throughout all of these images. So even on the vintage uh, uh, gas pump and the little oil container and everything else. Now I am creating a background and I'm sorry my camera zoomed in here from Copic Coloring but I'm going to pull it back out here in just a second. But what I have done is I have arranged all those signs and things that would be like on an old garage like a dad's or a grandpa's garage. I've arranged those on a sheet of red paper and I'm going to create a whole background. You can see there there's a sign that says open 24 hours and there's one that kind of looks like a shield with a star and then one that almost looks like a tire. I'm stamping those in VersaFine Black Onyx ink because it stays nice and juicy. You can see all that anti-static powder on there because I'm going to cover this whole background and all of those inky images with clear embossing powder and that is going to make that a versifying ink kind of stand up and look really nice and glossy on our background. Now I'm going to fill in just some of the small edges with the little oil can and maybe the gas tank, but I am going to heat this up now. You can see all those little images now and we're going to get the magic here of embossing powder as I move my heat tool around. Now all you have to do to get all that anti-static powder and you can see I really went to town with the anti-static powder because I was doing so much inking and so much of the clear embossing powder on this background that I um, used a lot of powder on this. All you need to do after this embossing powder sets up is take a dry cloth and go over the top or you, after it dries, you can take your hands and kind of rub over the top and the oils and things in your hands will richen up that paper again. You can see I'm going to go over the top of this with a dry cloth. But one of the cool things about this kind of vintage set is I'm going to end up die cutting this and making it a look a little more distressed anyway. So I wasn't really concerned about any of the residue of the anti-static powder being left. Now the cloth I used just then was a very damp cloth and you can see it didn't do anything to the paper. It just lightens up that look of the powdery substance that is left there on the paper. Okay, I'm going to take one of those layering dies from the Shield layering frame set and I'm just arranging this to where I kind of get good coverage of all those little heat embossed images that I did on the background. I'm going to tape this down where I want it and then run it through my die machine. Now you can see I have this really cool background that's going to be perfect with my vintage motorcycle, the old gas pump, the little gas tank we have there, and the oil can. So I'm pulling out all of the coordinating dies and I'm going to get right on top of my little images here, look down, make sure everything is lined up before I tape all these down and run them through my die machine. I got all those cut out and while I was stamping I almost forgot to do a sentiment and so I have my inks out the same cream colored cardstock as our motorcycle and our old gas pump is stamped on I did the same technique where you just stamp in the VersaFine black onyx ink and then heat set it with clear embossing powder now I am going to create a little banner and I'm up close and personal here so you can see I have trimmed off the edges of that life's a journey enjoy the ride sentiment you can see there in the center I've made like a little rectangle um, and then the tails of the banner are going to be offset when we join this all together. Now to create a little shadow underneath the banner, you can use the same cool gray or maybe an even light, really light tan marker. And you can create a little shadow right underneath where your sentiment is going to sit. And so I'm going to add that on and then I can pop up the whole sentiment on top of those little fishtails with some foam dots. You can see where I've used my cool gray marker. I have the little shadow just colored on. And now I can take my... Uh, 
blending brushes and brush on some uh, walnut stain ink to make that really look distressed and old. You can see those little uh, shadow parts that I added there just with Copic marker. And then I'm going to adhere this all together and it's going to make it look like a dimensional banner. And that's, you know, without using any type of dye or anything like that. Now this sentiment set does have coordinating dyes. So if you just wanted to cut that out and add it onto your background, you could do that. I'm going to use a couple of our tiny little foam dots, little dimensional dots, and add those right above my little Copic marker shadow area and then add the other side down. And now I have a little fun banner that's going to stretch across the top of my stamped and die cut background. Now go to go behind the background, I have a craft card base and then just black cardstock. You can see I'm gonna add my shield layering frame that I have here. And I'm gonna add this onto the background with some foam tape. And that's just to pop that up. Once I have all my foam tape added, I can add my stamped red shield background to the front of my card. And to make it even look a little more old and grungy, I'm going to take all the points areas there at the top and the bottom of that shield layering frame. And I'm just going to flip them up or almost curl them up with my fingers. And it's just going to make it look even more distressed and a little bit grungy. Now the next thing I'm going to do is add my sentiment and I want that towards the top and I'm going to pop that up. You can see how cute that banner is going to look there. For a final little touch here, I'm going to add like some little glossy accents to the front of that old gas pump. You can even add it onto the uh, light part on the front of your motorcycle. You can just put down a bead of that glossy accents and then just kind of move it around and spread it around with your die pick tool. But this is going to give that look of the old glass bulb that is on the tops of those gas pumps. Now to finish this off and just to add a little bit of pizzazz, I'm adding a silver metallic paint pen and that's going to give some of those pieces of the motorcycle the look of chrome and the look of metal. Now once I get this paint pen all down this is going to be all ready to go. It was a really fun card to put together and it got me out of my comfort zone a little bit doing something more masculine and really distressed. Here's a look at the uh, finish card. I just love the way all those little vintage touches turned out. And thank you for joining me for day one of our Adventure Awaits release. Make sure you come back tomorrow for a look at day two. See you then. Bye-bye.